Hello, this is Shankar and I'm telling you small points of predictive astrology which uh, I have developed through my research and uh, this is Shankar. Uh, you want to know about me, you go to my website shankarstudy.com. It is S-H-A-N-K-E-R Shankar, that's E, shankarstudy.com and you come to know a lot about me, my astrological work, my research, etc. which is uh, which, uh, which I've been doing for the last 40 years or so. Now, I, here I want to tell you today certain observations which I've done about Venus. 90% it comes out to be correct. And this is there when Venus is purely in the 10th house. When Venus is in the 10th house, the partner tends to become fat. And also I've seen in most of the cases, the partner will have a tendency, depending on other things like assuming, uh, you know, uh, Jupiter is aspecting and things to that effect is, are not there and purely Venus is ten, in 10,000 under all circumstances the partner will be um, have a tendency to you know talk with the opposite sex um, you know be a little uh, flirtatious and uh, to even to the extent of having extramarital relationships uh, in a way tendency will be there when Venus is in 10,000 one is uh, Venus in 10,000 the partner will get fat Second, Venus in 10th house, there will be a tendency towards having playing, you know, you'll be interested in the opposite sex, you will like to act to talk to the opposite sex, to uh, having an extramarital relationship depending upon various other issues with Venus. But these things, tendency of these things would happen when Venus is in the 10th house. Similarly, when Venus is in the 7th house, yes, after marriage, uh, you may become more prosperous. But we have to be very careful when Venus is in the seventh house, after marriage you will become prosperous. I have also tell all those people who have Venus in the seventh house, please do not do a love marriage. That is not good. And uh, Venus in the seventh house and if you have moon in the first house, uh, there would be problems in the marriage. Because uh, Venus considers moon as its enemy. Venus considers moon as its enemy and it is not vice versa. If it's a very important rule, Venus considers moon as its enemy. So when moon aspects from Lagnesh to Saptamesh, it's in the first house, the first Drishti is very important. It is Venus, when Venus is aspected by moon, Venus does not like it because Venus considers moon as its enemy. Vice versa, vice versa, when moon is in the seventh house and Venus is in the first house, the married life will also will be good and it will be prosperous and will also give you money. So, you know, the moon does not consider Venus as its enemy. So when Venus expects the moon from the first house, it the results will be opposite. So this is a very important relationship to this example I'm, try, I'm trying to explain you with, between Venus and moon. And this I have seen in a lot of horoscopes. Do check it out. These are my, you know, my my experience, my study, my study on Nadi and various other methods of astrology which I combine and see. And these these are right. They have logics, uh, which of course I can't explain in the video, but do try them out. Thanks and bye for now. This is Shankar signing out.